In that area right there, there's going to be a new location for, for a new and improved koi pond. And depending on how anxious I get, I might start digging this year. It's towards the end of September right now, so... And it's gonna go through the edge of the existing pond. It's gonna be about 13, 14 feet across by 5 feet, by 5 feet deep. But that's how it's looking so far. Today is October 21st, 2016, and this is how our new koi pond is looking. So our koi pond is 14 feet long by f 5 feet wide. It's probably going to be 5.5 feet deep. Dad, show us how deep it is so far. By volume, it's almost going to be 3,000 gallons. Hey Dad, tell us more a little bit about how the plan is going. Uh, we're going to have two uh, filtration systems. An exhaust here that's going to shoot down here. It's kind of a waterfall both on both sides. And then on this side, we're going to have a big giant taro plant. We saw some um, maybe about two weeks ago their trip to the zoo and it's huge it's big leaves so that's gonna work well very nice on this side and on this side and then in the two filter box we're gonna box it up really nicely and some nice wood uh, maybe cedar wood with a cover on it so that it looks a little bit better and we chose to have it here because if you look on that side that's where we have the window to see the waterfall and both uh, the koi and as you remember, this area right here is where we had the small one. So we dug all this, uh, this thing up. And this was a strawberry patch before. And this is where we have so far. So you can see how deep it is. We chose not to have low spot, uh, different levels. We're just going to go five and a half feet deep like a swimming pool, all straight across for the fall and winter. We're also going to create a cover to sort of catch the leaves so you can see some of these smaller leaves and maybe a greenhouse on this side that opens up at five and a half feet it just ensures that they have a nice area at the bottom in the winter that stays warm and not frozen we're gonna dig this year of what what we need which is five and a half feet after that we're gonna stop it's most likely it's gonna fall as you've noticed here the concrete box so the liners are gonna go all the way up here uh, and then it's going to come underneath here and it's going to go on top. And then we just have to figure out 
how we end it there because we're going to have some planting on that side. Okay, the pond is pretty much done for now until next spring where we put the liner in and fix this area a little bit. Well guys, it's December 4th and it's our first snowfall for this year. And this is how our koi pond is looking. So we'll put the liner in early spring. Bye! <laughs> well, this is how our pond is looking on December 17th.